Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Epix Gen 2 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with an iPhone. You can pair this watch with an iPhone in two ways. First method is to pair it during the uh, setup process of the watch. So basically if your watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second method is to pair it via settings after the watch has been already set up. First I'm gonna show you the um, first method during the setup method and then I'm gonna show you how to do it via the settings. So let's go to the uh, pairing. First thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch. You can do it by pressing and holding the light button. Once you see the Apex logo on the screen, you can release the light button and wait until the watch turns on. After the watch turns on and it's brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you should see the screen, basically ready screen. So let's press the start button to continue. Now you should see the um, list of languages. You can scroll through this list by swiping left or rather up and down on the screen, my bad. Now find the language you like to use on your watch and tap on it to select it. I'm gonna select English. And now uh, we're being asked to, uh, if we want to pair the watch with our phone. So let's select yes. Now we need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on our iPhone. So let's open the App Store. In the App Store, let's tap on search icon right here, then tap on the search bar, type in uh, Garmin Connect. Select the Garmin Connect app and then tap on the button right here to install it. And once the app is done installing, you can tap on open button or simply open the app by tapping on the uh, Garmin Connect icon on the home screen. Once you open the app, uh, you will be asked to connect to Bluetooth. Tap on OK to confirm. Also, check if your Bluetooth is enabled on your iPhone. As you can see, mine is, but if it's not, enable the Bluetooth before we continue. As you can see right here, I can continue with my account because I already used this application on this iPhone and it remembers my account. You can tap on continue to basically log in. Um, but if you don't account, if you're logging in, logging or opening the app for the first time on your phone, my bad, you will see basically the screen. And here you can create a new account or log in. I'm just gonna uh, go back and hopefully it will remember my account. Then tap on continue, check the boxes, then tap next. And now, as you can see, uh, we're being asked to allow the permission for the notifications. So basically, if you want to receive the uh, phone notifications on your watch, so notifications from your iPhone on your watch, you need to tap on allow. If you don't, tap on don't allow. I'm gonna allow it. And here we can allow some permission for the uh, health features like uh, fitness uh, stuff, like heart rate stuff, sleep, steps, stuff, stuff like that, basically. And you can enable the uh, permissions by tapping on the switch. You can also tap on turn on all to enable all of them and turn off all to disable all of them. Once you're done, tap on allow. And as you can see, the app detected our watch already. So let's tap on connect it. Now we need to enter the code from the watch. Then tap pair. Here we can again allow the permission for the notifications. So let's allow it. Now let's tap on next. Here we can set up a sleep time, basically uh, the time when we go to bed and then time we when we wake up. This is useful if you want to use some features on your watch like uh, do not disturb mode, sleep do not disturb mode and sleep mode and stuff like that. To uh, change the time, simply tap on the box right here and then you can swipe up and down on the screen to adjust the time. Then on this box right here to adjust the wake up time. 
And once you're done, you can tap on next. Now we can confirm to, uh, by tapping on yes, rather. Here we can allow the permission for the location. So basically, if you want to use features like activity tracking, uh, map tracking and stuff like that, you need to allow it. If you don't, you can tap on skip and skip this step. I'm just gonna tap on allow and then allow while using the app. Now we can allow the calendar access. So if you want to get the prompts about the events and stuff like that on your watch, you can allow the calendar access. You can also skip it to keep it disabled. Now let's tap on sync now, then tap on finish. Here we have a tutorial how to use our watch. You can go through it by tapping on next and then tap finish. Here we can manage the weather location. So basically, if you want to have the weather from the certain location, you can tap on manage weather location and you can use the uh, font location, use the fixed location. If you use the fixed location, you can tap on fixed location and here you can select the location from the map, basically, and then tap select location. Okay, let's go back. And again, we can uh, finish the setup. Basically, we can set up music, Garmin Pay, Wi-Fi and IQ Connect. You can tap on it to cut, tap rather on to get started to do this. And here you have the, uh, basically, step-by-step -step stuff uh, or instructions how to do this. I'm just gonna go back right here. And as you can see, we have this uh, icon of our watch right here. We can tap on it to open the device page for our Epix Gen 2. That means that our watch is um, paired with our iPhone. And we can use it, uh, as you can see. Okay, now. So let's unpair the watch from our iPhone. So remove device. And go to Bluetooth settings. Forget the device like this. And now I'm gonna show you how to pair the watch uh, via the settings. So after the watch has been already set up. So, of course, you will need to download the Garmin Connect application, um, but basically you can press and hold the app slash menu button to open the menu then scroll down through the menu, find the option called connectivity, tap on it, tap on phone, scroll down and tap on pair phone. You will enter the pairing mode and now you can basically uh, follow these same steps as we did, we did rather uh, with the um, from the downloading the app on our iPhone. If you already have an app and you're logged in already, you can open the app, tap on this plus button right here to add the device and it should detect your watch automatically. And then you can tap connect, enter the pin and just do the same thing as we did before. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with an iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.